welcome to Lamar Woodley Show. I'm your host, Lamar Woodley. And I'm your co-host, Michelle Knoll. Today we're at Learning Express of Robinson. And Lamar, this place is awesome. There's toys everywhere, games everywhere. Last week you had an awesome time with Halloween and candy. But Learning Express actually are doing good things for the troops. Yeah, when I first walked in the door, it kind of reminded me of, you know, when I was a young kid going into the candy store or, or going into a, a, a toy store and everything was in here. But... I couldn't afford to buy it. <laughs> so, you know, I was always hoping I'd get it towards Christmas. But I think this is a good thing. You know, definitely all the kids packing up the candy, sending them over there to the troops. Um, I had an opportunity to do that. Um, we won Super Bowl 43 and went to go visit the president. We had an opportunity to, to pack up some stuff and send them over there to the troops. Uh, so I definitely love it and I definitely enjoy it. And, you know, we did that on the VA show, too. When we went to the VA hospital, we also focused on the troops. So troops are really important to you. Oh, it's definitely important. Like I said, my dad was in the Marine for five years. Um, a lot of a lot of some of my family members was in the, in the military. So I definitely know how important it is um, for people to go over there and serve our country. Mm hmm. Tell us a little bit about this shirt you have on, though, because you're, Lamar's a little dressed down today. He has his team super kicked. There's something on the back, too. I don't know what's on the back. What does it say? Uh, at Lamar Yeah, loyalty. at Lamar Integrity and Hard Work. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a team. And as you see, this is my signature kick that I always do after I get a, uh, after I get a sack. Um, so I call it the super kick. So it's team super kick. So all my family members, we wear the team super kick um, shirts um, or hoodies. And on the back, you know, it's loyalty, integrity, and hard work. I think that's the importance of, of being part of a team. You have to have that. Mm -hmm. And the stronger your team is, the stronger you are. Speaking of teams, the game against the Ravens, of course, mm -hmm. it was a tough loss. And it was your first game sitting out. So how did that feel? Uh, definitely was a definitely was a tough loss. You know, um, Baltimore beat us the first game of the, of the opening, and um, this this time we had an opportunity to play them in Heinz Field, um, and we came out short. Um, you know, defense that's how we usually want to be out there at the end of the game on the field and at the game be in our hands, uh, but we let it slip away. Um, but we still have a we still have a long season to go. We still have an opportunity to be playing in February, mm -hmm. um, and that's always the goal when, when you're playing this game is to play in February. And I think that we still have a lot of time to do that, even though Baltimore beat us twice um, in the division which pretty much they swept us, but we still have to play Cincinnati, we still have to play Cleveland, so we still have opportunity um, to win our division. And this is my first game out. Yeah. It, it, was a, it was a tough one because- I bet it was. It was a tough one because I was on a streak. Um, I had been getting two sacks uh, every game. We had we started to win, and I was feeling good, and uh, my, my counter partner, James Harrison, was coming back this week, mm -hmm. so I felt like, okay, we're, we're really gonna get after Flacco, yeah. but um, I had an injury, and injuries slow you down a little bit. You don't have control over injuries, but you have to be smart about it because when you hurt your hamstring, uh, it, can, it can cause problems for the rest of the year if you don't take care of it right. So sometimes people rush back too fast, and when you rush back too fast, the injury just constantly bother you and bother you and bother you. Um, so I had to make a game time decision um, this week. Do I be a selfish person to go out there and hurt my team and not really be a factor? Yeah. Or do I sit out and let this thing heal? So I sat out and I, I'm letting it heal because it wasn't right. I couldn't run on it. Yeah. You know, so you know, hopefully I'll be back this week and you know be ready to play Cincinnati. So how are you feeling? I'm sure our viewers <clears throat> want to know how you're feeling. I'm feeling good. You know, um, every day I've been going to get treatment, um, whether it's in the morning, at night you know, pretty much for hours, you know, trying to get back because I know that my team needs me out there and uh, they definitely could have used me on, on Sunday night. Uh, so my thing is to fight, fight, fight to, to get back out there because I, I want to be out there with my teammates. Yeah. The great thing about this show is that there are winners and gifts and everything good right. like that. And Lamar, you're giving away a Sports Illustrated magazine. Yeah, Sports Illustrated magazine with, with me on the front cover. Actually came out early this year. Um, and I was excited about it because this is my second time being on Sports Illustrated. Mm -hmm. And uh, last time I was on Sports Illustrated, we won the Super Bowl. So I'm hoping that same <laughs> thing happened now where I'm on Sports Illustrated, we win the Super Bowl. Okay, okay. <laughs> and if you want to find out who won the Sports Illustrated magazine, stay tuned. This looks like you a little bit. <laughs> that is you. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Hilarious. That doesn't even look. Oh, you know what? His nose. <laughs> oh! What if it's on for like a second? There it 
Yeah, see, that's what's wrong with the world, man. People give up too fast. Come on. <laughs> Lamar, look at all this candy. 315 pounds. <laughs> and and now he's taking some. He actually <laughs> tested. He's testing some of this candy. I look, no, for the this is the thing I did. You know, because people, you know, they do so many things with candy. So I wanted to make sure it was you safe. You have to make sure it's safe. So that I had to go sense. through and test, you know, test a few, a few candy bars just to make sure they were safe. Oh, okay. No, well, that's all. This, this is sample. There is a lot of candy. There's 315 pounds of this candy. So one or two pieces for you to test, I think, is probably all right. Or four or five. Or, yeah, just keep going there. Um, so we um, did, it's called Trade Your Candy for Toys. Mm -hmm. And we do this, um, this is our first year doing it, but we're planning now to do it annually because it was such a huge success. Mm -hmm. um, what the kids did was they brought in their candy and they could trade in for every pound they brought in. They could trade in their pound for a boo buck, for a dollar. Um, and they could trade for up to five of these. Oh, okay. And then they could use their five dollars to spend throughout the store. And we were a little concerned at first that you know a pound of candy that was going to be a lot of candy, mm -hmm. but almost everyone that came in had way more than a pound of candy. Um, part of what was so fantastic about it too was there were people that came in that didn't want to take the boo bucks. They said, "No, this is just uh -huh. just for you." Today. He doesn't want I'll, boo bucks. He just want wants the candy. The no, like, this is no, candy because I'm gonna give me a boo buck. Oh, oh, you're going to start Take saving it up. Take a pound and give a pound back. There you go. Yeah, there so you go. Um, great people, though, that didn't want to take any boo box. They said, you know, we're just bringing this um, for you to take. Right. And all of the kids were so excited to come in. And ex the parents were explaining, you know, what a great cause this was for. Mm -hmm. um, and we also had some kids that brought in letters. Um, and pictures for the troops and we're also sending those along with all of this and it's for Operation Gratitude So in a little while we're gonna pack all this up and hopefully you wouldn't mind helping us pack all of this up into not. some giant boxes That's if Lamar <laughs> doesn't eat all of it. No, no, yes, I mean, if there's any left. I'm not gonna eat them all. Just <laughs> a few. Oh, okay. Just a few. You know what? You know Get your energy up to pack it. It is, it is a lot of candy. This remind me one time um, I went trick-or-treating and if I try to do this it would have been impossible because I thought I hid my candy one time, and my dad ate all the chocolate and put all the paper He's back in the bag and put it back oh, in my hiding space. No. He did not. Yes, yes, oh he did. God. Every piece, oh. every piece. That is anyway, yeah. that's the worst part is that yeah. he left the, the wrappers. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Just to rub it yeah, in. I hate it. This wasn't a great hiding spot. You know, that's what I'm saying. Right. So how did this start? How did this program start? Um, it started out with just dentist office is usually who does this is they collect the candy and they give the money to send overseas but there weren't a lot of dental dental offices around here that were doing it mm -hmm. so um my husband is in the army and he's right now getting ready to deploy he's in mississippi and then he'll be going to afghanistan um and it was kind of anything right now that has to do with the military has a little extra place in my heart so when I heard about the program, I said, we're going to do this. And Jen and Julie, the owners of the store, are fantastic. And they said, yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. whatever we can do to help would be fantastic. I don't know that we're going to have any to send. You're really, I you're really don't, me here. I really don't think, Lamar. I mean, you just keep at it. You just, you keep going. Your pocket is no, I, you, really see, heavy to you gotta say, I didn't. I didn't test the stuff inside. <laughs> oh, yet. you do have to test Yeah, you got to go through and, and pick and choose, you know, which piece you're going to. You know, you're right. Out, so. You're right. Um, but Jen and Julie are fantastic, and they said, you know, whatever we can do um, to help you out to do this. So we did it um, both at this store and at our Bakery Square location. So this is two stores worth of candy. Awesome. Um, and my husband is ridiculously excited about it right now because he knows some of this will be coming to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's that's why we did it. Was really for him. And we have a lot of people in the in the store that have connections to the military. Um, one of our one of the other employees, her brother is in the military. He's getting ready to deploy. Mm -hmm. um, another one of the girls, her brother-in-law is getting ready to deploy. So we all have a special place in our heart for it. And that's why we also wear our, oh, our yellow ribbons. Most of us have someone near and dear in our heart to the military. So it's to show our support um, to everyone that we know that's in the military. A lot of us have friends and family there. So, so when people come in, we can let them know that we're always thinking of them and always supporting them. Are you, you ready to them? bag the candy though? Because oh, yeah, you keep eating it. Yeah, Are you gonna, we're going to help you bag it, right? Yes, definitely. Awesome. We have some boxes. We're going to box some of it up. And okay. I brought a box too. Oh, uh, did you? Yeah, okay. you're a special. No, you didn't. Oh, in a bag, you're in a special yeah. little bag yeah. to, to carry some yeah. home with you. Notice how he's also only taking the sweets. There's, 
like healthy pretzels and rice cakes that for some reason they're just gonna, getting left right I was gonna over. test that last. Who's testing Yeah, those? last. I was gonna test that oh, you know, okay. last. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we can start boxing. Let's All start. Right. So what I do is I box all the chocolate. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna box all the chocolate. Cause you gotta, you gotta separate them. So. I think they'll do that at Operation Gratitude. Yeah, but see, I'm trying to, I'm trying to avoid them from going through the extra work when I can just load all the chocolate oh. up. Oh, and then they, are. they are great at Operation Gratitude. They're not just gonna send this to the troops. They'll also send it to. Um, families, the, the kids of the troops that are waiting for moms and dads to come home. And they'll also send it to the wounded warriors that are at different um, hospitals recovering. They send them care packages as well. Oh, okay. Check the left. Of now, Michelle. okay. She now, are you gonna a, believe? A bag of would you believe that I would can, steal candy? Can, can we check the <laughs> box, please? <laughs> Lamar, check the okay. Check the I'll be honest. Lamar put candy in my pocket See, because his easy. because he has so much candy in his pocket that he doesn't room have room. pocket for it. Yeah. Uh, Lamar, Lamar, this is such a great store. I wish we would have got more time to be here. Yeah, when I first walked into the store, I was just amazed by all the toys and kind of felt like I was a kid again. I just, know. just shopping, getting, actually I got some toys that I'm going to buy that I'm going <laughs> to take them home and have some fun with my daughter. I know, and it was great that all those kids gave their candy for Halloween too. I thought that was amazing. Yeah, definitely. Kids giving away candy. Candy, candy. yeah. <laughs> That's a big deal. <laughs> it's definitely a big deal and, and pounds of candy and you know, parents going out there buying candy from a store and, and turning it in, um, but it's, it's, it's going towards something good, and that, that's the good thing about it. Yeah. And of course, we can't leave this place without talking to the owner of the store. Jennifer, thank you Hi. so much for having us oh, here today. Oh, thank you, Michelle. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank yeah. you, Lamar. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, you for coming in. Um, we're obviously, we're a small business, and uh, my sister and I are the owners. And uh, we really appreciate our community because we count on our community for support in order to survive. Um, and they really came out and supported us very big with the candy drive that we did. So um, we feel very fortunate to, for that. We also do a lot of other um, things with the soldiers and we're doing a, a wounded warrior um, drive with our gift wrap this year. So we're hoping to get some strong donations for them this year for that as well. Awesome. And you don't you guys have personalized toys here? We do. We do. We have personalized toys. We have um, a lot of different programs like our birthday box program, um, our Christmas wish list for the for the kids. A lot of these things we, we try to set ourselves apart. We do complimentary gift wrapping and things like that as well. So um, yeah, it's it's a it's a fun store. It's a toy it store. Is, we we really have fun. a lot of fun here. Yeah, yeah. If you need some uh, help taking a few boxes of candy out. I, yes. I, I, Yes. I packed the box of chocolate candy. I was gonna take it out to the to your car if you need me after this. Thank you, Lamar. We yeah. appreciated you packing it up. It was very, very important, and we're very grateful to you for oh, that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank, yeah. you. thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank, thank you, you, Michelle. And before we go, we want to congratulate the winner of the Sports Illustrated edition of Lamar Woodley. Nice and autograph for them. Yeah, Sports Illustrated magazine of me on the cover. You know, hopefully that magazine bring bring us some luck. You know. Like, like the first one did and get us back to the Super Bowl and win it. That's right. And make sure you stay tuned next week so we can see Lamar's skills in the kitchen. Thanks for watching the Lamar Whitley Show. No! Stop! No! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, this one got to be the hardest level. The goal, oh, the goal is to get this before I leave today. I gotta get this right here. Though. I'm gonna get this. First try. Do it on the Marshall.